Hey, welcome back to Philomena Jack Studio. Uh, we're gonna do an art vlog today. It's been a little while since I've recorded one, so here we go. We're going to talk about art and books and the wrap up to my solo show, We Are Called. First off, I just got back from the Robert Swain exhibit down in, um, I'm in Manhattan right now. It's at 375 Hudson Street. Um, I got to meet the artist. He is an American contemporary painter. He does these interesting studies on color. You know I love color. Look at this. Oh my gosh. They were huge. This one is 20 feet long. Oh my gosh. I got to meet Robert and uh, asked him a little bit about his work. And I was wearing... Um, one of my We Are Called pins on my jacket. And we were talking about it and I took it off my jacket and handed it to him. And he said, no thank you. <laughs> if anyone has read the Amanda Palmer book, The Art of Asking, um, she talks a lot about just take the flower. When someone offers you the, a thing, as long as for me, like if it was a cheeseburger, I wouldn't take it. Um, but you know, just take the thing. <laughs> anyway, he was lovely and the art was fantastic. And he says he has a, a vertical one he's working on and he's on a lift and that's all new work. Um, really exciting. So these works were, um, there are about seven of them and he says they're all from this year, which is cool. I like people who are super productive. Um, that was great. Uh, other big, fun, exciting stuff is um, there's something here in Manhattan called the High Line. You can look it up. It's a great walking pavilion. Uh, it's free. You can't bring your dog, unfortunately. Um, but I have stocked out this space um, to plain air paint in. You know, I usually plain air paint in Bryant Park when I'm here in Manhattan. But there are these two new structures being built on the High Line or near the High Line. One is called Vessel. I would call it, I would have called it Hive. It looks like a, a squashed beehive, but it does, it has a vase shape to it, but it's a, it's a walking pavilion. It stairs up, very Escher, stairs to the side, stairs down, stairs up, you know, over and over again. And I have to say, it gives me a little bit of the heebie-jeebies. I have trouble walking on stairs that have maybe like a glass railing, or I was on a cruise a few years back and walking upstairs with the glass and the movement of the ship. It was comical. Um, but anyway, so there's that, the vessel and the shed. And the shed makes me so excited. It is this telescoping structure on wheels, almost like the bellows of a large format camera, but it's meant for the arts. Um, it's a for projected arts, for acrobats apparently they can come from the ceiling i can't wait it's supposed to open up spring 2019 um we'll see someone suggested that maybe not someone else suggested that it's totally on time uh so i started plain air painting there and here's my first go so let's see this over here is the vessel um again i would have named it the hive but this shed thing, the actual materials here, it's plastic. A uh, construction worker told me about it. It's uh, actually gray, but I just thought it looked nice if it was purple. Um, so I'm gonna continue to make paintings there. I had such a good time, got a little bit of sunburn. I thought I had myself covered. I should know better, um, but it's really cool. So check out the shed. New York is the shed NYC. It's a, a dot org. So they're an arts foundation. I have to do more research. But anyway, I think this place is so cool. And I can't wait to see it like fully realized. Um, so that's something that is I'm excited about. And I've been reading this Jen. Sincero, Sincero, You Are a Badass at Making Money. I read her first book, that You Are a Badass. It's the same font, it's just yellow. And I liked it a lot. Um, this one, I can only read a couple of pages at a time because I get so excited. The future is so bright and all of that. Um, 
So, you know, I'm 153 pages in, and there's a lot of what some people would call woo-woo. I like woo-woo, uh, so I'm cool with that. I'm hoping there are some actual, like, practical, concrete things. I, it looks like there might be going ahead, but I'm really loving this book, and I suggested it to a bunch of my friends, and I'm suggesting it to all of you, my new friends. Um, hey, did you know we're, like, up to, like, 41 subscribe subscribers? I remember when I wasn't even at 20 or 5, <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Keep subscribing. Thank you. Um, so that, that. Um, oh, so wrap up to my solo show. So I had a beautiful opportunity to have a solo painting exhibition at the Evelyn Peeler Peacock Gallery housed within the Arts Council of the Southern Finger Lakes in Corning, New York. Oh, there was a private opening reception. There was a public opening reception. I got to hang out there during Arts in Bloom. Um, a bunch of paintings found new homes. Someone just emailed me that they just received their painting and that it actually like made them cry with happy tears. Holy moly, that makes me cry with happy tears. So it was great. It was wonderful. And now I'm looking for the next thing. I, is it another gallery show somewhere? Or I've been looking into pop-up shops. I've been looking into vanity galleries. Um, there is something called Art Expo that I have intentions of doing for next year, but it also coincides exactly when I want to do this residency in California. So lots to think about. Oh, have we talked about my party lights? Do you love them or do you love them? I figure I'm traveling. I should bring the party lights. You never know when you're going to need party lights. Um, so I want to work um, more on large scale pieces. That St. Philomena that I worked on was over seven feet tall and I loved working on it. I loved the physicality of it. I love the challenge of it. Um, so I want to work on more large scale pieces. I'm going to do more of these plain air paintings for sure. And I just have to figure out what the next thing is. I keep feeling like the next thing is I need more eyeballs on my artwork and I need somebody's Rolodex to open up to me. Um, I want to contact Fish's Eddy. Uh, it's this great home furnishings like tchotchkes and art shop. Um, I, I see my stuff there. Wayne White has a collection. Um, uh, Amy Sedaris, I have some of her products that she has there at Fisher's Eddy, and I see them there, you know, I'm, I'm feeling so pumped and excited, and I want to share that with you. Tell me what you're pumped and excited about. I would love to talk about art with all of you. I'd love to know what you're working on. Um, I'm going to sign off for now. Thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks for subscribing, and have a great day.